Hello and welcome to the Gary Stewart Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Men's Basketball Coach Gary Stewart. And Coach, we haven't talked to you for a couple of weeks, but you've been pretty busy. Um, but pretty successful uh, 4-0 over the uh, last few weeks, kind of around the break. So can I talk just in general how things have gone for you guys over the last couple of weeks? Well, we played some good basketball. We um, um, went on the road uh, and, and played at Mount Aloysius, and, and I thought for 15 minutes we were as good as we've been all year. Um, and then came back and played um, played Goucher uh, uh, prior to Christmas, and and um, and, and they're, a, they're a team that's uh, – uh, been tough for us to handle the last couple of years, and and we were fortunate to to get off to a, a good start there and and, uh, and and beat them. And then out of the the Christmas break, uh, we had our first ever Buffalo Wild Wings uh, Classic tournament, and um, good competition, uh, different styles of play, uh, which was good for us. We we had to execute both um, man to man and and zone offense, and and uh, and they presented uh, different challenges. One. Uh, uh, really good off the dribble, and then another opponent that was uh, uh, tough to handle uh, from the perimeter. Um, so all in all, uh, um, it's, it's been a good couple weeks. Yeah, kind of going through the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Classic this past weekend, um, you beat Merchant Marine in the championship game. Kind of a weird game. You were up 13 at halftime or up 15 to start the second half, and they were able to, came, to come back and actually take the lead, and then you traded back and forth. You were able to withstand that and and eventually pick up the victory there. Um it was encouraging to see that uh, obviously you don't want team to come back on you, but at the same time to show the resiliency to bounce back and to hold them off. Yeah, yeah, that was important for us, um, and, and another way to, to win a game. Um, and, and you spoke to it. Obviously, you want to uh, sustain uh, that lead and, and, and grow it, uh, and, and hopefully um, get it to um, a workable number um, where you can um, go into your bench. We weren't able to do that. Um, they caught fire uh, from the perimeter and, and knocked down some shots that they weren't getting um, in the first half. And uh, to our guys' credit. Um, we were able to get some stops. We got out in transition. Uh, we got some offensive rebounds. We put the ball in the interior. And we got um, contributions from a lot of different people. Yeah, a couple of people in particular. Obviously, you know, Danzel and Jalen, they've kind of done their thing. Um, what is Marcus Dentley, named the all-tournament team, had a pair of double-doubles. Um, speak to his effort in, in, during the tournament. Well, uh, Denzel is the tournament most valuable player, um, has the 27-point outing against uh, uh, Merchant Marine, and um, so that will give you a, 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 an indicator as to how well he played. And yet, uh, I thought Marcus Dentley was the best player we had throughout the weekend. Um, he has uh, double-doubles in both games. He's shooting a high uh, percentage from the field. He's, he's um, defending really well. Um, and, and I love his energy. Um, and he's a guy that we, we expected great things from, and, and he seems to be getting better and better with each outing, and that, uh, that bodes well for us moving forward. Yeah. Another guy we've kind of seen flashes from starting again on Saturday was uh, Mark Terrell off the bench, had 11 points, had grabbed some rebounds at key spots. Yeah, he did. And uh, Mark is a guy that um, gives us another dimension. He is uh, uh, tough to handle down there one-on-one -on, -one on the block. He can step out and make a shot in the perimeter. Um, he's a very good passer. Um, so he gives us uh, a, another uh, person in another area that we can be really good in. Yeah. All right, shifting gears a little bit. Um, you're done with the non-conference now. You move back to conference play this week. Um, tomorrow night, Wednesday, you're home against Messiah. Um, Always a tough battle, and then Saturday you go up to Lycoming, who's you know in the top ten nationally, and you know played pretty well. Um, so obviously a key week getting back in the conference play, and you kind of want to keep that momentum going. Uh, most certainly do, and uh, Messiah is um, a difficult opponent. Uh, extremely well coached. They uh, um, have got some really good players and um, really good young players, mm -hmm. um, and and they can do a lot of different things. They. Uh, they put the ball on the floor and, and uh, can cause havoc on your defense if you don't keep them out of the interior. Um, they have some people that spot up uh, that are excellent, excellent shooters. Um, and that comes from a multitude of different positions. They can get uh, those opportunities from guards, but they can also get those from the, the front court. Um, and then I think they have one of the better freshmen I've seen since I've uh, taken this job. So um, they're, they're going to be a handful. Yeah. And talk a little bit about Lycoming on Saturday going up and making that trip. Obviously a long trip and then, um, you know, play a game after making that trip. Yeah, uh, long trips are only difficult when the opponent's uh, really, really challenging. <laughs> and uh, obviously in, in Lycoming, um, it's top of the food chain. Uh, they've had an excellent uh, uh, season to date. And 
uh, one of the top ten con uh, teams in the country when the, the new poll comes out, I think, and uh, one of the few teams that's undefeated. Yeah. Um, so, um, you know, that um, uh, um, matchup there warrants special attention, and and um, they've got a great outfit. They are, they are relentless in uh, what they do and, and um, again, presents um, a, a lot of challenges for you on both ends of the floor. Yeah. So um, we're going to certainly have our hands full, but uh, obviously our, our uh, full concentration right now is on Messiah. Absolutely. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time. Uh, we wish you the best of luck this week. Um, for Gary Stewart, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Gary Stewart Show.